CP is an open source tool for testing performance and functionality of SIP devices, servers, and networks. SIP simulates real-world SIP traffic by generating SIP signaling traffic, sending and receiving SIP messages, and analyzing the responses. CP is widely used to test SIP-based uh, systems such as Asterisk, Comelio, or FreeSwitch. To test these systems, CP can be used to simulate SIP endpoints to generate SIP traffic and test the performance and functionality of the system under the test. CP provides several scenarios that can be used to test various SIP features and call flows. These default scenarios are predefined XML files describing the sequence of SIP messages that are sent and received during the test call. Using the integrated scenario can be a good starting point for learning how to use CP as they are already defined and tested and you can simply run the CP command with the appropriate parameters to start the scenario. However, you can also create your own XML scenarios to test a specific scenarios or features that are not covered by the default integrated scenarios. Installing CP is a relatively simple process and can be done via package manager or by building from the source code. Here we will learn how to install CP from source code on Debian 11. I have documented the steps in my GitHub account and you can refer to it in my GitHub CIP tools repo. Okay, let's get started by installing the CP. We will start by installing prerequisites. So just copy and paste from my repo. Then we need to download and extract the CP source code. So we just uh, download and extract the CP source code and then we will make it with the TLS, PCAP and SCTP uh, support because uh, if you don't use these parameters then it will uh, it won't support for example PCAP then you cannot test the scenarios that are uh, we want to play a s sound or we want to test the RTP so you just uh, see make and then make it's relatively very simple of course you can install the uh, apt-get as well but I always prefer to uh, install from source code because it will let us uh, customize our installation Thank you for watching this video. In the next part of this series, we will learn how to use a default and integrated uh, UAC scenarios in the CP.